Hey folks, I spent the uh, lion's share this weekend uh, uh, happily putting in a bunch of upgrade parts into one of my uh, one of my favorite old-time favorite uh, little carbines here. It's the uh, Keltec Sub 2000 in nine millimeter. Um, it, it's a surprisingly compact package. I mean, uh, Caltech has exploited what Uzi knew decades ago, and that's the nine millimeter turns into a whole new beast when you stuff it in a 16 inch barrel. Uh, the thing can bang steel on a pretty regular basis uh, out to 200 yards. Um, but anyway, let's get into what I did. Because there were some things as a stock, as a stock firearm that I just deemed uh, uh, unsat for like uh, full service duty um, and <clears throat> some of the items I replaced are all here these are the stock components that I I took out and removed and I got to tell you I, I went with the M Carbo um, and two of the first items were polymer pieces that I wanted to replace uh, a, a plastic trigger that actually had some, uh, it, was, it was uncomfortable. It had uh, some flashing here on the edge. Uh, I mean, I could have taken a nail file and maybe smoothed it out, but I just found it poorly shaped and uh, uh, with the amount of uh, trigger pull there was, there was some flex going on. It was just not, not, not satisfactory as much as I loved the firearm. Another piece that I replaced, this, uh, catch here. It is the locking, it, is, it serves a dual purpose, it's a trigger guard and it's what, uh, what uh, allows the, the, the barrel to uh, uh, fold uh, and unfold and lock in place and this is the plastic piece that was on there again, polymer molded, uh, it would flex a lot under the spring pressure, um, M Carbo made a beautiful replacement piece there. Um, moving on, again, getting rid of polymer. This, believe it or not, is a polymer feed ramp. Um, now, if you get the gun hot, you do a whole lot of shooting and whatnot, you're going to destroy this thing. So, what was included in the M Carbo all-in-one uh, pro package there for this, it was a stainless steel, stainless steel uh, feed ramp. And as you can see, that's been installed. Moving on was the trigger kit. And M Carbo made a, a shortened trigger bar, which took up a lot of the, the creep in the trigger. And the spring kit decreased the trigger pull from 9 pounds down to about 4.5 pounds. Um, very nice. It still has a little touch of creep, but you know, considering that this whole trigger group is housed in polymer, I'm okay with that, especially for the type of firearm it is. So, um, the final thing here was the hardware. All these these five bolts going through here were actually ten bolts and spacers. The spacers factory spacers were aluminum. Well, all that's been replaced with carbon steel in the, uh, in the, in the AM Carbo Pro package on, on dialing, this, dialing this particular firearm up. So, I'm going to set down the camera for a second here. If you'll just bear with me. So I'm going to go ahead and unfold it. So we just unlatch here and we can watch that machined aluminum catch snap into place and that's very cool. The other thing I put on from M Carbo was a, a single point sling, quick disconnect sling and of course the buffer tube cover. The safety on, of course, works, and then take it off, and you have a trigger that stops right there, tiny bit of creep, and snap. 
very crisp, about four and a half pounds. And there's the quick disconnect. Everything was very neat. Um, I also bought and installed the M Carbo butt pad. I guess I can pick the camera up for that. And what I did with that is uh, I used Gorilla double sided tape and stuck this to it backwards and used the bushings in the uh, in the butt pad as a drill guide and I also used Gorilla Tape to hold it to the double sided Gorilla Tape and this way I could adjust it into perfect alignment and get that get that uh, pad perfectly centered and installed with no uh, no drill marks on the stock um, and everything came out swell anyways I took a whole bunch of pictures but I figured uh, you know rather than posting pictures a video would be more effective and one last thing that came in that that uh, M Carbo kit was an extended magazine release so it's very easily accessible man all I had was a little nub way up here now I can access that very easy from down here and drop those mags out thanks for watching